Okay, our next step is to make chamfering. So, in order to make chamfering, I'm creating new operation REST machining chamfering. So, I have some tool selected by default, but uh, I still have some conflict here because I have two tool tools with same number. Okay, no problem. So, for this operation, I will use this 10 mm conical mill, which I have by default. But what I need to do is that I need to change the number. Let's say it will be the tool number one, because I don't have a tool number one yet. Okay, nice. And as you can see, I don't have a holder here. All previous tools had, had holders in the library. So now I will show you what to do if the tool doesn't have a holder or you want to make a new holder. So you can switch to the holder uh, tab here. Here there is a possibility possibility to use a CAD model for the holder, obviously. But I will use some of our stock holders, so I have these ones. But if I click here, I have lots of different tool holders available in our stock libraries. So these ones and these ones, for example. So I will choose some random one, let's say this one select holder and apply that's it very easy next uh, as you can see i will okay let's make first let's make the uh, job assignment and then i will show you how to you can adjust the contact point which is very important in this operation so in order to make chamfer machining i can see that my model does not have chamfer so i cannot select any surface and tell SpruitCam that these are the chamfers. I can only select edges. So I switch to job assignment and what I can do, I've turned on all the filters for selection here. I can select edge and uh, push here, add sharp edge. Okay, and press run. That's it. But that's not what I'm gonna do because I have quite a lot of edges to select here. What I'm gonna do and the alternative way to save time is to, like, to select the surface and uh, push here add sharp edge. What will happen is that SpruceCam will detect automatically all sharp edges which are machinable in this part as chamfers and add them to the job assignment. See how it works. And that's it. So I have selected all the chamfers uh, corresponding to the surface with a couple of clicks instead of the manual selecting all of them or all, all of the edges so next next i just press run and here i have the toolpath so which looks already nice so what i want to show you is that if you switch to tool here in the inspector you will see the contact point wait a second i will disable everything that we don't need that's it you will see the contact point and you can move it yes and uh, well it will take uh, <laughs> you will see the difference so if i move it here recalculate the toolpath the toolpath is looks the same but the contact point is changed so if i run the simulation now you will see what how it works okay reset uh, simulate up to current and run. Okay, you can see that, that contact point here is applied. So if I move it up, it will be changed, of course. Okay, what's also interesting about this operation is that uh, it shows us this sign, which if I click here, shows me gauge of the part which is correct because this part doesn't have any chamfers in it so uh, sp strictly speaking it is gorged by this operation but of course uh, it's legitimate so we can c call it a legitimate because i know what i'm doing and if i go one more time here to the simulation let's increase the speed 
Okay, we can see that context point now is changed. Okay, so what happens here is that, of course, uh, the, the part is gouged, so I need to... Uh, basically, I can do nothing with this, but if I want to see the check mark here, I can go to the parameters and uncheck this uh, this checkbox. <laughs> Sorry for a lot of words. Uh, but if I uncheck this, now I uh, SpruceCam is not checking part gauge so and this operation looks fine but be very careful with this because of course besides the uh, chamfer chamfers itself themselves there are lots of other possibilities to gauge the part for example on some link or approach or something like that so be careful with this we don't recommend to turn it off so you better turn it on and uh, despite and just ignore this uh, this stress sign in case it's only about part gouging uh, when cutting the chamfers okay that's it about the chamfers so next will be uh, some text engraving <laughs>